The lead flight director of Apollo 13 mission, Mr. Gene Kranz. For the opportunity to uh, speak today. You know, it's interesting uh, as a speaker, you occasionally get mesmerized by the program that precedes you. And the uh, past hour, the technology that's been uh, demonstrated here, the technology that you have in your hands, the technology that you create and use, is literally dazzling. You know, I think about the changes I've seen in the last 50 years. So I'll say a few words about that this morning. You know, when Jim Lovell called down from the spacecraft, hey Houston, we got a problem. All I had were my teams in mission control and the learning curve that started about 10 years earlier at a place called Cape Canaveral. At that time, the Cape was nothing but sand, marsh, salt grass, corrugated steel buildings and antennas. And it was there we learned of leadership, trust, values, and we became a team. Mission Control is a marvelous leadership laboratory where we teach our young controllers to drive to excellence individually, collectively, and as a team. And there they learn the difference between the I and the we part of the team because when their time comes, they need our people to step forward, assume a leadership role, make their contribution, and then when they're through, return to the ranks within the team. Work develops chemistry because chemistry in any organization is a force amplifier. It amplifies the individual's talent as well as the team's talent. The chemistry leads to communication, not a line of work, but it's virtually intuitive. Because we must know when the person next to us needs help, or a few more seconds to come up with an answer. In mission control, there's no such thing as a first team, because once we launch, every team must be capable of accomplishing the mission. 